Hey you, I'm so glad you're here today. I know it's a little late, but my April plan with me for my lunar and spiritual journal is finally here. So let's get into this. I'm starting off with my monthly overview page. This month I was inspired by some elements that I wasn't sure were going to go well together at first, but I decided to take a chance anyway. I've started with a watercolor branch that I'm filling in the dates on with a white jelly roll pen. Now I'm working on drawing the moon phases dripping down from the branch on their respective dates. I've been pinning gorgeous images like these moon phases on Pinterest for months, and I've been trying to figure out how to work them into my journal. And finally, here they are. I was also inspired by Christine Mylin on YouTube, one of my favorite YouTubers, and Journal Away. I really love Journal Away's goal setting layouts. They're so simple, but also ask important questions. I'm also using a gold gel pen and a gold sharpie for the accent colors. This next spread is my letters to the universe that I include every month. I think that this is a spread that ended up being my favorite this month. It turned out just how I wanted it to, which really surprised me because this was the first time I created watercolor clouds. I left a lot of the artwork to fate this month. I winged all the watercolors and couldn't be happier with them. You'll see Olena, my black cat, a lot this month. She's my water cat and is obsessed with our sink, so it's no surprise that watercolors are her favorite art medium. Also, don't worry, she didn't actually lick any of the paint or drink out of the water bowl that I was using for my watercolor brush. I 
I was inspired by a doodle that I found on a Google search and wanted to turn it into a line drawing self-portrait. It just felt like me. It felt right to send out these letters to the universe with my morning cup of coffee and sometimes tea depending on the day. This spread was inspired by Journal Away and is all about my hopes and goals for the fourth lunar cycle. This is the page that I use to work out my mantras for the lunar month. The theme for this cycle is celebrate your blooming goals. I have a section for the challenges I'll face, my goals, and how I'm going to do it. And down at the bottom, my little plant tracker. I fill in a leaf each day that I say the mantras, which is usually in the morning with my coffee. I really loved my fortune teller Dutch drawers from last month. I'll leave a link here and down below. So this month I'm creating a moon Dutch door. Here I'm working on painting the moon with two yellow watercolor shades from this teeny tiny Windsor and Newton watercolor palette that I got years ago from the Hoblob, aka Hobby Lobby. I've now flipped over to the other side of my moon dutch doors to start inking in the rest of the designs that I'm tying in with the very first spread, my monthly overview page. I've added in a Crayola stamp marker for a few extra star details. Does anyone remember those stamp markers like from the 90s? I was incredibly obsessed with them and I wish that they still had the one with the eyeball and the lashes. It was this beautiful blue color and I just I want that stamp marker back in my life. But I can't find it. So if anyone knows where to find a little stamp marker like that guy, let me know in the comments down below. Now I'm watercoloring in a portrait of my ginger tiger cat, Zoya the Destroyer. She's reaching down for one of the hanging designs, which is what she normally does. I 
I didn't have black in my watercolor palette, so I improvised with a black super tips marker. It worked out surprisingly well as the watercolor medium. On the back page of the Dutch doors, I'm working on painting in my black cat, Olena, sitting there perched like a little gargoyle, silently judging you. Which is what I see every morning when I look out into our living room. I see her perched, just staring and waiting like a little gargoyle. Now I'm just going back in after my watercolor is dried to add some little details on both cats with a black gel pen, gold gel pen, white jelly roll, and a green metallic marker. Now I'm working on the inside of the Moon Dutch doors, which is where I'm putting the feeling-based intention journaling prompt that I'll be filling out on the morning of each moon phase. If you want to see how I use this spread, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my fourth moon lunar goal setting video. It'll be coming out next. I'm using some of my favorite flower doodles this month as dividers between each section of the moon phases. I'm also freehanding in metallic green and rose gold floral details around the entire moon cycle to match the outsides of the Dutch doors. And now the final spread of the month, my Unravel Your Month check-in. My words for this year are flux and flow. I'm tying in all the designs from this month together in this spread and left it really simple so I'd have plenty of room for journaling at the end of the month when I reflect on how April went.
Now that we've completed this month, we can go ahead and bring our April Plan With Me Lunar and Spiritual Journaling practice to a close. If you'd like to see what I use for my daily planner, check out the link below and in the cards for the tour of my Dragon Tree Rituals for Living Dream Book and Planner. If you'd like a Journal With Me video, let me know in the comments down below. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the fourth moon lunar goal setting video. It's the one that's coming out next. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time with me today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.